everybody, I'm Kenneth Guyton with Ohio State Buckeyes, and just want you to check me, my mom, and Coach Brown out in the interview. Hey, what's going on, Houston? This is Coach Brown back over here at the studio, over here with the Guyton clan, over here getting it in, representing big time over here at Hot TV Studios. I got the beautiful Miss Guyton. You want to speak to him out there, Miss Guyton? Hello. She's, <laughs> she's a little shy, a little camera shy, but uh, believe you me, she has a uh, great support uh, for her son that's getting it in in college right now. You want to talk about you know, what it took to help get your son to where he's at right now? Sure. It just took a lot of uh, time and, and you know, uh, thought process because Columbus is not just around the corner. So we had things we had to pack up, things we had to get to make sure that um, he was prepared for college life. And uh, it, it just takes a lot of time just to think things through. But uh, we were fortunate that he was given a scholarship. God blessed us. So it, it was easy. The right. rest of it was easy. The hard right. part was already done. Right, right. You want to talk about some, some um, more some of the some of the stuff that helped prepare him for getting ready to go to college that maybe I mean I mean did he go take any tests or did he get some tutors I mean I mean what what were some of the avenues that you took to help your son get to that next level because a lot of guys just think I got talent you know they're gonna they're gonna you know it's all about talent when that's not the case I mean you have to get your education and all this stuff so we'll talk about that a little bit sure actually uh, we didn't do anything extra however uh, my husband is a coach which he's also a teacher as well and he was at the same school that uh, Kenny went to uh, Eisenhower High School coach Kenner Guyton and so that helped us out quite a bit because he kind of had some inside track as to uh, other teachers that were available to help him and there was a lot of motivation actually from the other uh, teachers the, the coaches uh, and everyone who knew us actually because they really liked Kenny quite a, uh, Kenny quite a bit as well as Kenneth so um, there was that extra um, uh, group of people that provided the uh, support and backup that we needed in order for him to uh, go to the next level. Not only that, we, we taught him that um, adversity. Right. Okay. You have to always be prepared for adversity. Right. Nothing is ever given to you. Right. It's easy when you go through Little League because right. he, he played with uh, Inwood Dad's Club with uh, David Jackson and um, all those guys out there. And, you know, it, it, he was able to play quarterback and, you know, it, 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 it was what it was. When you got to high school, there's a little bit more competition there. So uh, you have to work harder. Right. Anything you want in life will not come easy. You have right. to work hard for it. And that that's in school, that's in football, in whatever you do in life. Right. So you always have to be not just physically prepared, you have to be mentally prepared. So basically you're saying it takes a village to raise. It takes a village. It takes a village. So he had a good support group. It, it, it wasn't just, just the coaches. It, it was a unifying effort. Exactly. And an extended family as well. Right. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Kenny, you got any add, anything to add on that? Well, uh, yeah. Just the same thing as, you know, you always have to have that outside help. I always use your resources and everything, so... I think I had I had plenty of resources to use, so I think I made it happen. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up. Well, that's how we're doing it over here at Hot TV Studio. You seeing he have his support group here, getting it in. Kenny Guyton, the man in the steering wheel. I'm saying it right now. The man, I'm calling that. I'm calling things into existence. I'm doing that. Y'all don't know what that means. You got to pick up that black book that's sitting in the back of your, you know, your car window. You know, getting dust. It's called the Bible. I'm going there. So you have to pick that thing up and read it. Like I said, I'm calling into existence. Uh, I love this kid. I've been working with him going on two, going on three years, uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing him doing some great things. Big shout out to Malik. Always showing love to me and my kids that come through here. Uh, and I'm gonna do a special to drop anybody who wants to have a party here you can get it in here at hot tv studio you know check the number on the screen get it here get your party on got another hot one for you tonight yep